So we found Colleen Terry, who co-curated this exhibition and did such an amazing job. We were blown away. First of all, thank you. Thank you. It's such an exciting opportunity to um, share this wonderful moment in San Francisco's history. Exactly. Absolutely. What surprised you the most about all you saw and learned about the time? Oh, just how varied the aesthetic really was. Um, we were blown away, really, by um, the generosity of the collectors that collect this material today um, and how excited they are that the museum is really taking an interest in this period, uh, but also the amount of kind of interest that the artists had in different cultures and different time periods in the mid-1960s. We see that throughout their artistic work and I think that's something that Jill and I hadn't really been expecting when we started the project, but we noted that it was a current that really crossed media. So how long have you been working on this exhibition and was it fun at all? <laughs> it was a tremendous pleasure. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's definitely been an experience. Um, That's a summer of love experience. <laughs> summer of love experience. <laughs> Though there was no one summer of love experience I'd like to point out. Um, so we realized a couple years back that San Francisco's summer of love, the 50th anniversary, was coming right up. And for the posters, it was going to be a great opportunity to kind of get them out of storage. A lot of them are in our permanent collection, so we wanted to share them with the community. Uh, but the exhibition in its current state really came about as a result of Max Holine starting at the Fine Arts Museums. Uh, Jill D'Alessandro and I pitched our previous exhibition idea to him, I think on his second day of work. And he heard about it and he was really excited about it. And he said, you know, if we're gonna do a Summer of Love project here at the museum here in San Francisco, we need to do it big. So he gave us the big exhibition space and the exhibition blew up in such an amazing way. And um, all of a sudden we had space and the opportunity to work with all sorts of artists who we'd learned about in our research but hadn't really been able to find a place for in previous iterations of the project. What was your reaction to having Stanley Maus and Victor Moscoso and some of the artists here seeing their stuff on the wall. Oh, it's so exciting. I heard a rumor, though I didn't see it in person, that Moscoso was standing in front of our animated poster wall for like half an hour watching the posters move. And all of the posters in that space are his, posters that he made 50 years ago. Very cool. Well, we just interviewed him in front of a couple of his posters, and they were having a lot of fun poking around, Excellent. looking at the walls. That is very exciting. <laughs> My associate, uh, Victoria Binder, who's our paper conservator, worked very closely with a number of the poster artists, interviewing them, um, as well as with the printers themselves, interviewing them, trying to find out exactly how they made the posters, uh, which is something that hasn't really been well documented up until this point. I took a different approach. I didn't really go out of my way to talk to the artists specifically, because in a lot of cases, um, they, they've had a lot of interviews recently, and I was more interested in what they were thinking back in the day. So I sought out um, newspapers and interviews with them from the 60s. And so that was something that really populates my research in the project. You really did do your homework on this one. What, what can we learn? What can we, society, what can we learn from all that happened in the 60s represented here? Oh, I think so much of what happened in the 60s was all about personal action and group action and the idea that people can all work together to change, change the world. I think that's something um, that we can certainly learn from even today, even living with the legacies that they permitted us. Um, artistically also, I think there's a lot to be said for the handcrafted element that is rampant throughout the exhibition across media. Um, so much of it is handmade. And I think there's a lot of interest to this day in the handmade and the idea of um, personalizing objects that you're purchasing. So keep it crafty, be creative, express your artistic self, personalize what you got, and take advantage of the precious time we have here. And then furthermore, let's work together. And I think that's a wonderful segue and a, and a closing here, standing in front of this wall of the Oracle newspapers and our dear friend Ann Cohen, who is such a strong proponent of the let's work together mentality. Yes, well, I think it's just such a, a wonderful honor to be presenting this exhibition here in San Francisco with so many people who lived the moment and are able to share their stories with us today. Wonderful. We thank them and we thank you. You've done a beautiful job. We always love to wrap with a hug. 